Yeah, Crip or Crud, September. Let's do it now. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Where's Patrick anyway? Where is he? Yeah, but that's no excuse. He's army on time. Should have been professional. Why can't he be professional? I swear to God, ever since he's got comments, he's got too big for it. Man thinks he's Diana Ross or someone. Unbelievable. What's that noise? What is that? What the fudge? Bro, what are you doing? We're supposed to be filming now, can you not keep time? What the? You think you're too big for it? I can't believe this shit. What's going on people? Welcome to September's Crep or Crud. Sorry I've been away for a bit, but you know, it's my 40th birthday coming up this week, so we've been celebrating. 40 years young. Bro, it's rich coming from you, innit? Why don't you take that off? You're not in the bathroom no more, bro. Yeah, September's Crep or Crud. Let's get right into it. See you sheet. Let's go. First up today, Biohack. Jordan 1, $170, coming out September 4th. I like it, you know? I don't mind that at all. I know I'm a bit of a hypocrite, because it looks like a toddler's been let loose on it, a colorblind toddler at that. But I quite like it. I think the colors mesh well together. I know it's a bit crazy, and usually I bag out all the weird looking shoes, but I'm digging that one. Only problem is, come on, it's a Jordan 1, innit? What is the chances of me getting it these days? You... I'll tell you what, back in the day, it was easy to get Jordan 1s. When I was a youngster, you just went in there, got them straight away. Not anymore, bruv. Raffle City, and you're just taking L's all the time. I'll tell you what, it's getting that bad. They might start raffling off Jordan 1 laces. Forget Jordan 1 shoes. They might start raffling off Jordan 1 laces. Reseller's like, yes! I want a Jordan 1 lace. I can sell it off for a tenner. Take my missus out for a Nando's. I see it. It's a crep. Full crep, yeah? I love the shoe. I want to try and get it, but will I be able to? Probably not in this day and age. It's a crep. Next up, also September 4th. Phone posit 1. Black, white, and royal blue, all right? Now, this is, it's a tribute to Orlando Magic, all right? So all you Orlando Magic fans, you probably want to cop this joint. To me, though, I'm, I'm not sure, you know. Seems like a bit of a painter and decorator shoe. Do you know what I mean? Looks like a painter and decorator's been wearing it. I don't think I can get jiggy with that. Nah, not for me, not for, as, you know, if you like Orlando Magic, shouts to you, go and get that joint. $225, though, it's a bit lumpy. I will not be doing that for something that looks like a Peter and Decorator's beater, that ain't gonna happen. But I can just imagine the Peter and Decorator creasing the hell out of it, listening to Magic FM while he's working. Peter and Decorator foams? Nah, I'm good thanks, I'm good. If you want it, September 4th. But to me, respectfully, it's a crud. Next up, Yeezy Quantum. Yeezy Quantum, September 5th, $250. Man, I've gotta get those joints. I swear to God I've gotta get those joints. I had such a shit show with the barrier. I tried to buy the barriums, which is like, you know, another version of them, but not as good. I couldn't get them. I, I was I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was on Adidas. I was like, well, I'm going to win this. Surely I'm going to win this one. Came up, they were sold out. I was like, what? Felt like ringing Adidas. Like, Adidas, it says it's sold out, but I haven't got a pair. Are you going to do something about this or what? I was out. I was that outraged. I nearly bought these, even though they were going for like 600 quid or whatever. I was like, I'll show you Adidas, all right? I'll buy these. I'll buy them instead. I'll buy the real ones. Forget the barriums. Forget the crappy barriums. Forget your poor man's quantums. I'll buy the real deal. I'll spend money that I haven't got, Adidas, to spite you. I'll spend money that I haven't got. Luckily, I didn't do it because, you know, I couldn't afford it and, you know. But now they've restocked, so, you know, dodged a bullet there, didn't I, really? They're just quality. I love them. Basketball shoe, Yeezy, bit space age, bit out there. I don't know, some people might think they're weird, but I really dig them. I want these. It is going to be Salt Lake City in my house if I don't get these joints. $250. Go and cop them, yeah? September 5th, Yeezy Quantum. It's a crep. Next up, Jordan 5, Oregon. Or Apple Green, because we don't want to pay Oregon any money. I'll see ya. $225, September 12th. Alright? 
I like these, you know. I think these are pretty decent. I think they're all right. I like the all green colorway. Now, if you're not sure, these are an actual Oregon colorway. Jordan, for some of the schools, they make actual Jordans for them, like Michigan, like Oregon. What they've done is they've taken the branding off them and just given them to the masses. So you can have an Oregon shoe without the Oregon details on it. Now, I quite like it. I think they're all right. I won't be going for them, I don't think, but I think they're pretty decent. You know, 225 is hefty, but if you like fives, it's a nice one, isn't it? I would say that's decent. The only problem is you're going to get people saying, oh, poor man's Oregon. Oh, you got a poor man's Oregon on. See, I don't get all that. I don't get down like that. It's not a poor man's Oregon, all right? I tell you what, when I was younger, everyone was a poor man. There's no poor man's anything. Bloody hell, no one was spending 150 quid on shoes. That's ridiculous, bro. No one was spending that. Apart from maybe, I don't know, Brewster and King Jaffy Jofa. But that's it. Only them two. No one else has got money like that. You can't say that it's a poor man's shoe. Anyone says that to you, ignore them. If you like it, go and get that joint, all right? Jordan 5, Apple Green, September 12th. It's a crepe. Next up, PSG Jordan 4, Paris Saint-Germain. Bordeaux colorway, $225, September 15th. Nah, bro. Nah, I'm not having it. They look a bit like the Fire Red 4s. They're coming out in November, Jordan OG. I know the colorway is different, but they look similar to me. I would rather get them. Plus, I mean, it's Paris Saint-Germain, isn't it? I mean, come on. They'll probably buy all the shoes themselves. That's what they'll do. They'll buy them all. They'll say, oh, look, it's sold out. We're so successful. Just like you do in European football. Yeah, I said it. At me. Ah, and the other thing, if you wear these, you might probably start falling over and crying every time you wear them with no one touching you. Like Neymar. It's a crud. Next up, John 14, Royal Blue, September 19, 190, $190. I just don't like 14s. Do you know what I mean? If you love 14s, respect you, yeah? You know, I know it's a classic Jordan shoe, last shot and all that. Not wrong with the 14s, they're just not my cup of tea. I think they'd look like toboggans on my feet, do you know what I mean? Just too long, too long, bro. I can't see them on my feet. Cool running 14s. Nah, I'm alright, mate. I'm fine, thanks. But if you like them, go and cop them. If you're into 14s, I will go and get those joints, yeah? But to me, I'm sorry, if you like it, go and get it. But to me, it's a respectful crud. Next up, Peace Minus 1, 2.0. G-Dragons Air Force 1, coming out in September. There's not that much known about it, but it's coming out in September. These joints are just ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? The first one, the 1.0, that was black with a white swoosh. This one's white with a black swoosh. But, the, you know, the top layer peels away, there's graffiti underneath. It's just a hype beast paradise, isn't it? The shoe's just ridiculous. Stuff on the outsole, just all on the eyelets. Just stuff going on everywhere. Shoe is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I love a pair, but, you know, they're lumpy, aren't they? The hype on them. You're not gonna get them here. They're gonna be harder to find than a R. Kelly fan, aren't they? Let's be honest. I love a pair, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Shouts to G-Dragon. His Air Force Ones are just ridiculous, bruv. But it's gonna be very hard to get on that hype train, isn't it? If you can get them, go and get them in September. But, you know, good luck. It's a crep. Next up, Michigan Dunks. Michigan Dunks, yeah? September 26th, $120. $120. You can almost get two of these for one PSG border. Go figure. Crazy. I love it. Again, it's the same thing as the Oregon one we saw earlier. Do you know what I mean? It's a, they're making a remake of the actual college shoe. But the colourway is just nice, isn't it? It's just, you know, it's going to go with everything. You can fit it well. It's cheap. Who doesn't want one? Do you know what I mean? That is a nice shoe, isn't it? Thing is, though, good luck getting them, yeah? Everyone wants a dunk. It's just dunk city, isn't it? The chances of getting them are very, very slim. Good luck to you, but I just can't see it. Do you know what I mean? There's no chance I'm getting older one of them. I've got more chance of becoming a male model than I have of getting one of those joints. I swear down. Just too hard these days, isn't it, with the dunks? But if somehow you can get lucky, you've done really well. For that price, that colourway, mwah, beautiful. Very, very nice. Anyway, Michigan Dunks, 26, coming out. It's a crepe. Also coming out on the 26th for $190, the Jordan 13, Lucky Green. Lucky Green, it's not really Lucky Green though, is it? It's the we don't want to pay Ray Allen any money 13s. I see you, Jordan Brand. Nice. I think they're decent. I'm not the biggest fan of 13s. I won't lie, I'm not the biggest fan of 13s. But, yeah, I like that one. I like the colourway. The thing is though, I think the Ray Allen is better. Now, Ray Allen, that was a player's edition, all right? Ray Allen had his own Jordan 13 in this colourway and they've just remade it. There's a recurring theme here, isn't there? Jordan keep remaking different shoes with the colourways, but it is what it is. If they're exactly the same as the Ray Allens, I'd buy them. I would. I'd buy them. They'd be my first 13s, but I'm not buying them because they're that black outsole. So, I won't. And I can't buy the Ray Allens because I can't afford them. Is what it is, isn't it? Anyway, it's still a crepe. Get it if you want it. 26. 
John 13, Lucky Green. It's a crep. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Great to see you again. Thanks for Patrick as well for finally turning up. Shouts to Detail Don. Well done on the win the other week, mate. Thank you for everyone who took part in my giveaway. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying making content for you. It's great. Please subscribe. Please like the video if you haven't already. Hopefully you have. As I said already, it's my birthday. It's my birthday at the moment, so there'll be a few crepes coming in the mail for me. A few birthday presents to unwrap and show you. There'll be some reviews coming, trust me. All right? I will see you next week. Thanks for watching Crep or Crud. I'll be back in October with more Crep or Crud. Stick around, Till next time.